Good morning, everyone, and welcome to your Miracle Mindset Monday for this week. So remember, with our Miracle Mindset Monday, this is a generalized reading for the week. There are no personalized readings. This is just a generalized energy forecast for the week. You could even call it your spiritual prescription for the week. This is what the universe, what spirit would like us to focus on for this week. And if you are interested in your own personalized Miracle Mindset Monday, then you can find that on my website at awakeningmiracles.org. So for today, we're going to be using the, very interestingly enough, First, we're going to be using the Ascended Masters deck, and this deck is really going to give us the archetypal energy that we're going to be working with. So it's going to give us the, the symbol that we're going to be working with. Then we're going to be looking at the frequency that we are going to be working with within that archetypal energy. Then we're going to see what blocks there may be to really embodying that energy. And then last but not least, we'll have a beautiful affirmation that can help us for the week. So that is what we will be doing. So I thank you all for being here. I thank you all for showing up and I thank you for sharing if you would like to. So let's go ahead and let's get started and let's see what the archetypal energy is for this week from the Ascended Masters. Oh, beautiful. All right. Whoops, almost dropped, almost dropped the whole deck there. Okay, beautiful. All right, so here is the beautiful archetypal energies that we are working with for this week. Now, the first one that came out is Merlin. Now, this says energy healing, but what I really get from this card is this is about transmutation and alchemy. This is really about using our own innate ability because you see here, there is like, you know, this dark sun, but then, you know, he is transmuting that darkness into this beautiful golden light. And that's really what is being asked of us this week is to begin that transmutation process in our own lives, which can be extremely healing. And one of the best ways that we can begin to transmute that energy, we can begin to really see the truth is by simply acknowledging what's in front of us. You know, that's one of the main things that really brings forth healing is acknowledgement, acknowledging what's in front of you. That's all that it takes. Okay, what's in front of me right now? What is the situation? And how am I currently seeing this situation? Am I judging it as a good thing? Am I judging it as a bad thing? How am I looking at this situation? And acknowledging how you're looking at the situation. And then you can begin to change your mind about it. You can say, okay, well, I'm viewing this as a bad thing. But does it necessarily have to be a bad thing? And so that's really what we're asked to do in this transmutation process, because transmutation simply means that we are looking past the form to the truth that lies beyond. Now, next, we are asked from the next archetype of Vishnu to trust, okay, to trust. And that's really, really key is that 
is to trust. And it's not about trusting the little I that we all think that we are. It's not about trusting your personality. It's not about trusting, yeah, it's not about trusting your ego, your persona. What it is about trusting is trusting the universe, trusting your soul, trusting your spirit, trusting your higher self, trusting your angels, trusting your guides, trusting that they are going to lead you where it is that you need to go. And you will be led there, but you have to, once again, trust. And it comes right back to acknowledgement. We have to acknowledge, have I really been trusting my intuition or have I been playing lip service to it? And just be honest with yourself. That's all it takes is honesty, making sure that your thoughts, your words, and your actions, none of them contradict each other. Just making sure that each one is in accordance with the next. So then that's going to lead us to our last archetype, which is Ganesh. Now, Ganesh is actually known not only for the remover of obstacles, but he is also the, the archetype that's said to, uh, you know, he's happy, he's joyful, you know, he's all of those beautiful things. And so what we're asked to do this week, as we look at the, as we look at any situation, as we look through it through the eyes of love, trusting that we will see, know that the obstacles will be removed because that's the other thing that Ganesh is known for, the remover of obstacles. So we're asked this week with Merlin to begin to really transmute those energies. We're asked to look at situations and ask ourselves, how am I seeing this? How am I judging this? How am I labeling this? Am I willing to let go of that label? Am I willing to transmute that energy? Am I willing to trust in the universe? Am I willing to trust in my guides, my angels, and God, and Jesus, and Buddha, in Ganesh, in whoever it is that you say is your higher power? And if you are, then yes, the obstacles will be removed for you. And the reason that they will be removed isn't because it's some magical, mystical power. It's because you have basically asked for them to be removed and you have done the action step of trusting that they'll be removed. You've taken that action by looking, by acknowledging and processing and then releasing. So now let's go to the frequency tarot and let's see what beautiful message comes up for that. And actually, it's the first, it just happens to be the first card that's flipped over. I mean, how beautiful. Non-attachment. You know, Buddha said the root of all suffering is attachment. And one of the main things that keeps us in that attachment is our judgment. That's the one thing that keeps us so attached. That's the one thing that stops us from that, oops, from that trust is because we are attached to a certain way of thinking. And since we are attached to that certain way of thinking, that it becomes what we could say, I, what I like to say, is it becomes an opportunity for growth. Now you can say, well, it's because it's hard. It's only hard because you believe it to be so. And so if you believe it to be so, then the obstacle cannot be removed. But if you believe it is something that can be changed, that you could see as an opportunity for growth, then yes, the obstacle can be removed. But once again, it comes back to you have to acknowledge. You have to begin that transmutation process. It's not just, you know what we may think of as, okay, yeah, I thought about it for a minute and now I'm done. No, it's really acknowledging how you're feeling about it and looking at your judgment. Remember, we don't really have any room to judge. Spirit, on the other hand, always can judge because spirit sees all time and space reality. It sees how the judgment will affect the entirety of the universe. Okay, the entirety of the universe. It sees that. 
And so that is why, once again, we are asked this week to release our attachments, release our judgments. And if you don't like the word non-attachment, then great. Use the word judgment. How can I begin to transmute my judgments this day, today, this week? How can I begin to trust more in my own intuitive abilities? I may think that I do, but am I really speaking and acting in that way? And if not, then how can I begin that process? And that begins with that trust and know that the obstacles will be removed. So now we're going to go to the wisdom of the hidden realms and we're going to see what kind of blocks us from that, our ability to transmute, what blocks us from our ability to trust, what blocks us from our ability to be non-attached. Oh, wow. Love it. Okay. So this is the chess queen. Okay, the chest queen. Now I'm going to read you because she always has like little blurbs above them. So I'm going to read you this because it's, you can't make this up. It's absolutely beautiful. When the chess queen arrives as a challenger or as for our opportunity for growth, it simply means that you are living too much in your own head planning, scheming, and strategizing what your future will look like and how it will unfold. Remember that old saying, when man plans, God laughs. You cannot know the power and beauty that is meant for you until you let go and ask for divine guidance. The law of cause and effect apply here. Don't dictate what you want as your wants may not be in your highest good. Instead, for the miracles set aside, ask for the miracles that are set aside for you. What does spirit want for you? Perhaps it's time to let go and turn your life over to that higher power. OMG, yes. So one of the main things that blocks us is our own planning, our own scheming, our own believing that we know what is best for us. We don't know and we have to be okay with not knowing. We have to be okay with surrendering, with giving over, with letting go, with releasing over to the divine. You know, one thing that I love to do every morning is spirit, please enter my life in all of my relationships, in all areas. You know, enter my, enter my relationship with money, enter my relationship with business, enter my relationship with food, enter my relationship with people, enter my relationship with myself, enter my relationship with, you know, the divine essence of who I am, enter every part of my life so that I can be led. And so that's one of the main things that blocks us is once again, our attachment to what we think we think and what we think we know. We don't know anything. We have to be willing to step back and let spirit lead the way, which then comes back to the trust. And if we trust, we know all obstacles will be removed for us. But we have to trust. We have to really look, like I said, today, this week is all about transmutation. It's about acknowledging how you are judging a situation, then asking yourself, okay, this is how I'm judging it. Spirit, how would you see this? And then being willing to trust that spirit will let you know. And then knowing that as you begin to see it from this new perspective, that the obstacle will be removed. Okay. So now we're going to go to the affirmation that's going to help us for this week. Beautiful. Oh, there's two. Okay, so there's three messages that wanted to come out for this week. So our first one, infinite potential, infinite potential. So let's see what the beautiful affirmation is for that one. I, oh, 
amazing. Can't make this up. I listen to my inner voice and am guided by my inner light. I faithfully, I am faithful to the truth of my heart. I have within me all the potential and all the resources to succeed. I am always guided to what is best for me. Now, what's really beautiful about this, when it says it, it, I am guided by my heart, it doesn't mean I'm guided by emotion. And for those of you uh, who didn't get to watch, you can go back and watch yesterday's morning message where I talked about what thinking with love really means, like what it means to me or what it means in, from my perception. And thinking with love doesn't mean thinking from emotion. It means thinking from the highest aspect of yourself. Does it mean thinking with the emotions? It means thinking with the highest version of yourself. So then we'll go to our next card, which is number 13, which is true. And notice how her heart is illuminated. So this is the second card with a heart illuminated. So this is number 13. I look within and I find my truth. I listen to the divine force that comes from my inner self. I am in harmony with myself and I welcome the love of God, the power that will guide me towards my fullest shining radiance. How beautiful is that? And then we have card number 28. Card number 28. I move my awareness within and discover the entire universe. My angels lovingly guide me. The universe is full of timeless wisdom. I am loved. I choose love. Absolutely beautiful. So let's do a quick little review for this week. What is this week's main message? Our main message for this week first comes from Merlin. And even though it says energy healing, remember, we're taking this more as this is the time to transmute. How do we begin that transmutation process? We begin by acknowledging how we are looking at a situation, how we are judging a situation. As we acknowledge that, we move into that trust, trusting that the universe, trusting that God, the angels, whatever it is you believe is your higher power is going to assist us. As we do that, we know that our obstacles will be, will be removed. Remember with Ganesh, even though it says, yes, he is also the remover of obstacles. He also is the one who sits at, you know, sits in the lotus position, if you will. Uh, but he is uh, the one who sits for those who seek truth. He sits at the, at the center of truth being like, come on, everybody. You know, he holds a noose in one hand to release all ignorance and a broom in his other hand to sweep it all away. So then we have the frequency that we need to embody in order to really have this beautiful week, which is non-attachment, non-judgment, looking at our own judgments. What stops us this week from doing that? And we have the challenger, the chess queen. And what stops us from doing that is our own attachment to what we think we think and what we think we know, what we think we want and what we think will make us happy. Okay. Then we have our beautiful affirmations of infinite potential coming into the truth and angel whispers, telling us all to go within, telling us all to trust in love, ask for love to help us to see the truth. And we're going to pull one more card from the uh, Frequency Tarot. And actually two came out there. And that's going to lead us to great excitement because we will be surrendering, which will lead us to that beautiful synchronicity and synchronistic events. So if we actually do these things, then excitement, if we actually surrender, we're going to be able to get into that excitement and we're going to be able to see those beautiful synchronicities because as we surrender, you know, we're in that excitement and we're going to begin to see those beautiful synchronicities pop up for us. Letting It's the universe's wink telling us that we are in alignment with the divine will. So I thank you so much for joining me. I thank you so much for being here. If you are interested in your own personalized Miracle Mindset Monday, then please feel free to go visit 
my website, awakeningmiracles.org. And if you are interested, I am having my live Zoom workshop on June the 13th. And you can also check that out at awakeningmiracles.org if you're interested in joining us on June the 13th from 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.